This channel is sponsored by Creality. Go to Creality.com and find all of your 3D printing tools. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, been a couple of weeks, but uh, I got uh, some stuff to show you. Um, the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival is coming up uh, next weekend. Um, so it's here in Loveland, Colorado. So if you're in the area, come on up and see us. Uh, we'll be there both Saturday and Sunday, 17th and 18th. Um, and we're going to have the McLaren. So that's what we've been working on. So let's take a look. So we'll start up here where we've basically done a few things. I got a new um, piece here. Uh, we had one over there. This is the kind of the crash bar uh, mounting uh, piece for the uh, fenders so we 3d printed that one over there um, and that one is based off of scanning this one over here uh, which is a real one so we now have those installed um, and that has uh, really um, allowed the fenders to kind of take the proper shape because before they were a little kind of saggy um, but now they're looking good. The other one is uh, I've got one of the headlights mounted. Um, we got this other uh, headlight, which has obviously got some serious problems, but the nice thing about it, it's allowed us to make some brackets here uh, so that we can actually get the headlights uh, mounted to the chassis itself. So, made some brackets here, still have some triangulation and things to do, um, but now the headlights are solidly mounted to those uh, crash bars. Well, great thing, um, my son Xander is rejoined uh, the projects, um, so I'm going to show you some uh, video here of him getting some skills. Uh, which is awesome. It just uh, makes a dad so proud and so happy. So enjoy. Next thing we need is we need a tow hook. So actually got a tow hook from a Mercedes and then had to tap this particular uh, crash bar bracket um, in order to uh, do that. And what I did was I could not find a tap because this was a 18 by three millimeter. And so what I did was I went ahead and made this self tapping so and then cut the threads into the aluminum we'll see how much how well that holds but i i think it's pretty strong so let me know your guys' thoughts on that but i think it'll i think it'll hold just fine um we've got a lot of threads in there i checked them you can 
undo this and unscrew it out and you can see the threads and they're nicely cut actually but uh, all I did was I took the on the threads on this one I used the angle grinder and basically cut some a uh, couple of channels into it so that uh, the edges would actually cut the aluminum and for aluminum that's not too bad we used a little WD-40 and uh, I think I got some nice clean uh, threads cut uh, just using that so kind of a little uh, kind of a little redneck engineering but uh, I think it did pretty well the other thing that I've done is spent a lot of time on getting all of the uh, uh, trim and all of the uh, uh, weather seals um, set up for the roof so we have spent a lot of time on getting this all uh, situated and especially doing it on the other side that it that took me a lot more time because we actually had to modify slightly the um, carbon fiber piece that we had here and to match it up with the other side um, there were a little, some fitment issues and whatever getting these uh, weather seals in here but I think we did we did a good job by mimicking uh, what was on the other side and then I went through and did uh, uh, some more structure on the inside of the carbon fiber and that gave us uh, better uh, mounting actually for the door because beforehand we actually had to shim the door quite a bit and so I did some modification down there uh, so that we could fit the weather stripping and the door would mount uh, flush to uh, that particular uh, part of the uh, A-pillar. So also made some adjustments down here to uh, bring in this line, um, basically so that the door closes. We still obviously have a few fitment issues here, but those will be addressed later down the road. Um, you can see also here we have a little bit of a gap, but that's something where we can mold the plastic so it fits a little bit better. Um, made these little rocker covers and uh, got a lot of the uh, weather stripping pseudo installed. It's not perfectly installed in here yet. And obviously we've got some fitment issues that I need to take care of eventually once we get all of this working. Next, um, we got the dash in. Uh, it still needs a bezel, and uh, we'll get the uh, infotainment system uh, mounted. But you can see I got the bezel for the infotainment center. Uh, that's in there mounted to the dash. Uh, we have this piece here, which is basically some more trim uh, for up here. So we've got to get that uh, mounted in there. I figure. For this, I'm just all I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically tiger seal that in place for with a few dollops um, for the show. Uh, obviously, we've got some fitment issues here on the dash that are going to have to be taken care of eventually. But things are starting to come together. You can also see, you know, we've got uh, a few things that we've got to work out with these A pillar covers and whatnot. So yeah, it's going to start getting a little bit fiddly, um, getting all of these things together. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, stay tuned for the next one. The next one's going to be about the show. Um, hopefully we'll have a lot of uh, uh, people interested in the project. There's a lot of 3D printing on this car, and so we'll really be able to show the utility of using 3D printing to basically... Uh, rebuild a crash damaged car um, and I think more and more folks are adopting this type of thing whether they're using it for molds or whether they're you know using the 3d prints like we are on the Aventador which is using them as actual uh, parts that we cover in uh, fiberglass so let me know what you guys think about uh, what we're doing on the McLaren uh, it was great to have my son out. Uh, I think he's uh, getting back on the bandwagon. So looks like he's going to be doing a lot more uh, work with me. He's learned some skills today, as you saw. Um, anyway, I'm pretty happy. 
don't worry, uh, fathers out there, your sons do come around from time to time. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.